guys and welcome to Not Productive. Now I know that this channel is about gaming reviews and movie reviews and tech reviews and other things like that, but it's also about science. So I get to sit here and give you my nerdy explanation about different things and today I want to tell you about taste and flavor and why things can alter the way that we perceive it. So most of your tongue has absolutely nothing to do with taste, it's a muscle, but there is a small part of your tongue that has specialized cells called taste buds that are responsible for why you taste things. They have receptor channels that bind to salt ions, mostly sodium, sweet molecules, mostly sugar. They also have bitter receptors and sour receptors, which mostly has to do with pH or hydrogen ions. So when you eat something, your taste buds grab onto these molecules, which changes the chemical properties of that cell. Whenever that happens, it sends a signal that changes the electrical properties of that cell, which signals flavor to your brain. But smell is also extremely important when you chew your food because air goes up into the retronasal pathway and these odor molecules are released directly on the thin epithelium in the back of your nose. So olfaction is a huge part of flavor and the way you can test this at home is you can take a piece of candy like a jelly bean for example, grape or cherry would probably work best, and hold your nose and chew it up for a little while and the, the pressure receptors will tell you that it's like this gooey feeling. Then your tongue will pick up on the sugar that's in the candy and will tell your brain that there's something sweet. So you'll know that it's gooey and you'll know that it's sweet, but you really won't know what the flavor is until you let the air out. Now it'll work best if you breathe out instead of breathing in when you try this. So chew up the food, hold your nose, breathe out, and then all of a sudden you'll taste this grape and cherry like it came out of nowhere. Now there are also a lot of other things that influence the way that you taste, one of which is what your mom ate while she was pregnant. Now there was a research study that had pregnant women drink a bunch of carrot juice while they were pregnant and while breastfeeding. Cause you know, no one could resist some carrot flavored breast milk, it's good shit. So the kids whose mothers were given the carrot juice, regardless of the stage when they were given it, were less grossed out whenever they had carrot flavored cereal one month later. Has this ever happened to any of you guys? I know that my mom drank a ton of coffee when she was pregnant and breastfeeding and I am addicted to it, but maybe that's just because I never sleep and need more caffeine to keep editing these videos. Or maybe it's because I loved, you know, coffee flavored breast milk. Another thing that influences the way that we perceive taste is the label of food, even if it lies. Several studies were done and people who saw low fat on something or something that said soy would automatically say that the flavor was different or that it wasn't as good as the other one, even if it was the exact same thing that they were eating in both cases. Now there's a lot of other weird things that can influence the way people perceive taste, one of which is background music, another one being the mood that you're in, and even the color of the food. They did a study where they changed the lighting in the room so that everything looked blue and everyone seemed a lot more dissatisfied with the food that they were getting, even though it was the same thing they had before, it just looked a little bit more blue. Now the reason that I even decided to do this topic was because someone sent me this asking me if I agreed. Does fudge taste less good if it's shaped like poop? I don't even know why they had to say less good. They could have just said does it taste worse, but I guess they decided to make the sentence longer. Personally, I would have no moral objection to eating fudge shaped like poop, but maybe that's just me and maybe I just really like poop. I don't know. But there were a set of experiments tested on a group of volunteers by offering them glasses of apple juice, some of which contained a juicy cockroach. Now I'm terrified of roaches, so I would never actually do this, but the people who did, knowing that the roaches were sterilized, said that the flavor of the juice was different. It just tasted off. It wasn't as good, even though it was exactly the same as what they had before. Just with a tiny little bit be roach inside. But that wasn't good enough for these scientists. They decided to push their sixth grade sense of humor a little bit further and decided to take fudge and then take half of the fudge that was nice and perfectly cut into little pretty squares and roll them up and make them look like little paws of turds. As you might have guessed, the subjects much preferred to try the regular fudge over the stuff they imagined sliding out of a dog's asshole. But even those who did try the poop fudge rated it as tasting less than the other completely identical pieces of fudge. And even though all this seems kind of ridiculous, it kind of gives you valuable insight and you can question the whole mechanism by which we decide what to eat and in what amounts. Now I think all this is really interesting. I personally would not mind eating turd-shaped fudge. I think it sounds delicious. I don't think I would do the roach thing because I just I hate bugs. But poop shaped fudge, I'm totally cool with that. But I'm not sure if I completely agree with all this because I think fast food chains and a lot of things like that are really disgusting. They look disgusting, they smell disgusting, and people still go in droves every day to get a bunch of that McDonald's chicken nuggets even though God knows how much shit goes into that. People still eat it, they don't care, so I'm not sure exactly how correct these studies are. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Kind of interesting, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Not Productive and make sure to check out my channel if you want to see more of me. I do a lot of videos on atheism and religion and politics and I'm sarcastic and I talk about fun things like masturbation. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.